in this lesson we learn about sorting an iteration over arrays. Let's create a sample array. Now we have our array. If we want if we wanted to order this array from left to right, I mean from the minor to the major number, we can use the sort method in Ruby. So we use array dot sort and Ruby is gonna sort the array for us. We can also revert the order calling array sort dot reverse. As you can see, now it's ordered from major to the minor number. And here we can see another concept called chaining, that is called methods over the return value of another method. So here we call sort for array, and it returned an array like this one, and also and then called the reverse method, that is a method that reverts the order of items inside the right. Now, if we wanted to remove duplicates in this array, we can just call array that unique. Oh, it's only unique without the u without the e. Okay, and now we have unique items. It removed the three, the repeated three. However, array still has the same items. We can remember in our previous lessons that using an explanation point on the method call we can apply the return value to the original variable. Like this way, now array has the return value of the function unique. However, it, it's still unordered. It also works with the sort method we can add an explanation point with to the sort method and now it's ordered and has unique elements the next topic we're gonna talk about is the iteration let's see the different ways of iterate arrays in ruby for the first method that is the each method we're gonna use something called a block a block it's something you do not need to worry about. We are going to dedicate a stage only to that topic, but this is a good introduction to it. So let's create. Oh, let's use our. our oh, let's use our previous array, and let's iterate over the each method. So we make array dot each. And we send in a block. So here we can say, oops, okay, so we're gonna print this and then close with the, with the end keyboard. And as you can see, it's printing the items, it's iterating over the items. Here is where we send the argument of the block. This statement is a block and we perform some action over the item we are using. There are several methods that work this way in Ruby. Another thing that we can do is find out if each item in the array is over a certain value. We do this with the all method. The all method also needs a block syntax, but this syntax is is different from this syntax that uses the do and end keywords. In this case, we are gonna use the curly braces syntax. We learned from our comparison stage that we can check to see if an item is greater than our sentiment value. So let's see if all of the items in this array are greater than three. So let's use array that all with and use curly braces. So open here the argument of the block. It's gonna be item. And let's see if item is 
is greater than 3 okay and it says it's false so it checks is if all of the items inside the array meet a certain condition that it's at I all the items greater than 3 this is false because we have the 1 we have 2 but let's see something that passes item greater than greater than 0 and this is true an equivalent method that we can use is the any method any will check to see if any items in the array return the true for what you specify inside the block let's see how that works instead of all I'm going to change that to any and make the condition again item greater than 3 so it checks if any of the items inside the array is greater than 3 and if any of those is true it's gonna be return true for all the condition so it says truth now let's see if all the items if any of the items is greater than 10 for example or equal equals to, to 0 that's also, that's also false now let's say we wanted to return a new array containing only the items that were greater than 3 in order to do that we could use the select method I'm going to create the bash here so if we change any select so select any item greater than 3 so it's gonna to return a new array with all the items greater than 3 and we do 5 and 10 are greater than 3 similarly there is a reject method the, that does the opposite of the select method so let's check the contents of the array again okay so if we change select for reject we will get the, all the items that are not greater than 3 is the opposite of select and we do another very known and useful function is called map map is going to run a function against every item in the array let's see how that works so let's say array map and let's execute a multiplication here so it's going to multiply each item by 3 using the map method let's see how it works as you can see it multiplied every item of the array with 3 that's the map method does in other words what this has done is it has gone through every element in the array and run that block of code this block and return a new array in this case we just multiplied all of the items by 3 in this stage we learned how to create arrays, work with them, sort them, compare them and iterate over, over them next up we'll be working with hashes don't forget to make the quiz we have a short quiz for you the link is in the annotation of the video of in the description as always on Bastionlandia on twitter follow us on, on, on twitter as race karate follow us on facebook race karate always keep an eye on racekarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video and thanks for subscribing to our channel see you next stage